Hey guys, what is up? Maya here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and how to install the pre-releases of Project Zomboid. Now, before I get any further into this, you do have to have either a CD key or a Desura login for this to work. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to be able to play the pre-release. So, you know, just letting you guys know before, you know, anyone gets really excited about it or anything. So, it's it's really quite simple, actually. Uh, this is the Project Zomboid forums. It's the IndieStone.com. All of these links will be in the description below. And, you know, they'll have, like, an annotation or something next to them so you know what exactly they are. So, once you get there, simply go to PZ Announcements and you'll have a whole heap of things. So uh, 0.2.0 releases thread, that's an important one that you want to go to. Uh, so which one is that that I had open? Yep. There we are, so that's this one here. So this thread will generally have the latest release of the game on it. So as you can see, you can download the launcher, the direct download, and mirror. For this uh, particular build, there is also the experimental combat. So, uh, you know, it's it's got more detailed combat moves, basically, but it is experimental. I haven't even looked at it yet. So, I don't know. I kind of want to avoid things that are a little bit too buggy at the moment. Uh, same with the launcher. I've had the most luck just using the direct downloads, not using the launcher. But I will show you guys about the launcher too. So, another thing that's important to look at as well is this little link underneath. If you're having trouble running these, please check this thread first. So, you know, this is really, really easy to fix. So I'm just going to be going through Windows today. So, basically, we're just going to be following these steps here. So if you actually want to be able to play the game, um, this is this is really, really detailed, so I'm just going to kind of skip over it. If you're going to want to have to play the game, you're going to have to go to Java, uh, the Java website, and I'll also chuck a link in the description for that. And you're going to have to download the 32-bit one, and I recommend downloading offline. Uh, if you're having issues and you're running 64-bit, download 64-bit as well. I actually had to have both of them installed before the game would start working for me. Uh, that might not happen with all of you, so just try 32-bit first. Restart if the game's still not running. Try the 64-bit as well. So just download them, install them. Uh, I do have this window up here. So this is both the installers. That's the 32-bit. Uh, that's the 64-bit. Simply run them. Really, really easy to do. You know, just follow it through. Install. Uh, I've already got it. No. And the 64-bit is literally identical. Okay. So once you have all of that done, we want to go back to the original page that we were at, which was the Oh, what's it called? The 0.2.0 releases thread, and we want to either download the direct download or the launcher. And I'm just going to download the launcher quickly because I don't already have that one prepared. But I am just going to show you the direct download. So uh, yeah, just click one of these links. It's really simple, and it's just a zip file. So uh, you know, Windows should recognize it. If not, get WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like that. So once you have it, simply just extract it. I'm going to extract it into a folder. It'll go through, it'll do its thing, and boom, this is going to be where you run Project Zomboid from, uh, you know, from here on out. So basically, uh, once again, this is a little bit buggy, and uh, the optimization at the moment isn't the best, so you are going to have to experiment with these a little bit. So you can try the HD, high full screen, high, and like you can just keep moving through them until you find one that works for you. When I'm recording, I actually use the, uh, the low dot bat, and that's just so I can resize the window. Uh, but, you know, if you're not recording or something, frame rate's generally pretty good with the uh, high dot bat. So I'm just going to pause the video quickly while I open this because I think it may show my CD. Okay, so it's not showing my CD key because I already have a save loaded, but basically you can just load any of these. Uh, it'll come up with this console window. Generally, if you're having any errors, they will display in here, and you can use those errors to actually look on the forums where other people may have encountered the same issue, and you can kind of go through that and, you know, fix it up. But once again, if you have Java 32-bit uh, installed, it should just work fine. So, at the moment, it's just asking me if I want to load the world. No, I don't, because I don't want to screw up the Let's Play that I'm currently doing on my channel, so I'm just going to close this down for now. But, you know, I'm showing you guys that it does work. And press any key to continue. Boom. We are done. So now I'm just going to quickly show you guys the launcher as well. Okay, so I've got the launcher downloaded, and it's simply just projectsonboy.jar. So just run the .jar file. And when it's ready, it should bring up the launcher. Boom. So it will start downloading it. So even if you have the other project Zomboid downloaded, uh, it's it's going to re-download it. Um, I've already downloaded it once before using this launcher, so I don't have to worry about it. But from here, you can change how much memory it uses, the graphic levels, uh, the windowed side, or you can simply just check windowed and not have to worry about it. But Hopefully that guy uh, that helps you guys out. If you're still having troubles, you know, leave a comment. I generally try to get back to everybody that you know does ask a question. But if I miss you, you know, you can be persistent. You can even send me a PM. I'll probably, you know, more likely to reply to those. I guess if I've missed them. But you know, that should work for you guys. Remember to restart after using Java, just in case. 
But yeah, anyway, if you guys liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe, and check out my website in the description below. Thanks.